So I just saw, you see the title right there, Robocop, <laughs> the original. I just saw Robocop part one, the original at the Paramount in Austin, Texas. And uh, it was amazing. It was amazing to, you know, go back to a moment in my childhood, 87, when I was six years mature. And, um, you know, like, the film, the film was filled with a lot of violence and drama, but it was also like, you know, there were some comedic elements. There was, uh, you know, political satire. There was uh, politics involved. Like, there was a lot of, like, real-life societal challenges and issues that the film addressed or not addressed, uh, showed. Especially with, like, the state of the world and the country at that time in 87. And um, so for me, it's not, it's not a lighthearted movie or it's, it's, it's several things but um, it's always been one of my favorite films it's like it, it's, it's heart in the film um, it makes you think it makes you feel um, and it teaches you something about life you know in order to like be a better human being so um, great film great, fl great flick and uh, yeah it was just nice to Nice to um, go back to like that time and like my life. Hey, don't film. How you doing? Um, you know, to go back to that time in my life when I was a little kid, and you know, I've seen it a few times since then. You know, maybe like three to five times since my childhood, and I don't recall if I saw it. I don't recall if I saw it as a as a kid in the theaters or um, if it was just on VHS or something but I'm thankful that I finally saw it in the theater so give thanks to RoboCop let's get it peace